of London Archaeology is part of the Museum of London, uh, we actually get all our funding from property developers because the way archaeology works in the UK is it's all tied to the planning process. So if you want to develop a site and it might impact on archaeological remains, you need to find yourself an archaeologist. You need an archaeologist to help you get planning permission and then if there's going to be a need for an excavation or indeed to protect the archaeology, then you come to somebody like Museum of London Archaeology to help you. What we try to do is we try to help developers and give them certainty. At the same time, we try to add value to what they're doing. So if you like, our mission statement is to give certainty and value. And the value comes from unlocking new knowledge that people didn't know about before which goes into the school system, into the education system and is, is, is delivered back really to the public. We have uh, here in, in Museum of London, we have about 200 archaeologists and other specialists. Um, it's an incredibly rich mix of very clever people, it's somewhere I always wanted to come and work for that reason. Uh, we have a very large field team of professional archaeologists who direct the sites and who carry out the excavation in the field. We've also got a, a wide range of specialists. We've got surveyors who work in the geomatics team who survey the sites and capture that sp spatial plan information. Uh, we have uh, an in-house team of specialists in finds, all, all sorts of different finds, all sorts of different periods. We have a specialist team in um, reconstructing past human environments who do so by, um, by means of geo-archaeology. We have our own photographers, our own illustrators, we have our own archivists. It's a, it's a very rich, multidisciplinary topic. Well, with 200 people or thereabouts, um, we have uh, perhaps 20 different field projects going on at any one time at the moment and all of our specialists indoors are working on the post-excavation analysis um, of all of that work. Um, a, a, a typical day means that uh, people are coming in collecting equipment to take out to sites. We have a, a team of client managers, contract managers, who uh, negotiate and arrange and manage all of the projects and liaise continually with our clients, the developers, um, so it's, it's, it's a highly professionalised business these days in, in, in the UK. Archaeology is a commercial um, practice. Archaeology and the people involved in carrying out archaeological work are incredibly creative and innovative, always looking for new ways in which to analyse the material uh, to gather and collect and record archaeological information and also how to get that information out to as many people as possible. If you want to get into archaeology, um, there are lots of different routes by which you might do that. Um, we have uh, a lot of people who've actually studied archaeology at university uh, and who've then gone on to gain practical field experience. And we also have a number of other programs where people come and join us, people uh, come and work with us on a work experience placement. Um, we also run a community excavation uh, at least once every year. And actually that provides a good route for people, especially in the local community around us where our, where our offices are. Uh, to get involved and to see the many, many different disciplines because in archaeology you can, you can look down a microscope, you can become an internationally renowned specialist in a particular field, you can spend your day outdoors in the rain and the snow and the sleet and the sunshine um, carrying out actual practical archaeological work. You can work indoors, making sense of all the data that we collect and writing stories. Ultimately, all of the work of all of these people comes together to write stories.
The other amazing thing about archaeology, which really we've only just started to, to acknowledge, is that if you find out about what's happened in the past, you start to develop that real sense of identity and understanding. And actually, today, in, in today's modern developments, archaeology contributes a great deal to the sense of a place and to the sense of identity that people living and working and playing in a particular place, or even visiting a place, actually have. So it's a real, it, 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 it's often thought to be all about the past, but actually it's really helping to mould our attitude to the future. Thank you.